My father's great-grandfather, Colonel Stephen A. Collier, fought alongside General Lee until Cold Harbor. He was wounded and died from a gangrenous leg he refused to have amputated. His grandson and my grandfather, Henry Collier, fought in the Great War, making the world safe for democracy as an ordinary private. He returned home to operate a dry-cleaning business and died of a heart attack six years before I was born. My father caught the end of World War II, working mainly as an airplane mechanic in Hawaii. He went to college, got a degree in business, and opened a car dealership which flourished while America ruled the world. The history of my family, like the history of civilization, is the history of war. The getting into it, and out of it, and over it. And Vietnam should have been no different. But it was. Its final battle was waged along an unrecognized front, far from the shelling and the napalm and the sounds of planes and guns. It was a battle my brother Jeremy fought when he came back. What are you looking for? Jeez. You know I was thinking this morning. They should make Thanksgiving on a Sunday. Because then that way it'd be more religious, like the first one. Then everybody could go to a service together and pray together and sing together and all that. I'm sure that's what all those pilgrims did. Girl, what about the Indians? What Indians? The Indians at the first Thanksgiving. What do they have to do with anything? Well, that's why we have it. The Indians saved the pilgrims from starving to death and until they got the hang of things. And then after the first harvest, they got together and celebrated and had a feast. I'm sure all the Indians that came to the feast, they were all Christians. But then, most of them. No, they weren't. Well, then they probably didn't go to the service then. They probably just came to the feast afterwards and got drunk. I'm not talking about them anyway. I'm talking about how today, It'd be nice for modern people to have Thanksgiving on a Sunday. I don't see how the Indians have ever had anything to be thankful for. Me neither. Daddy? Mm hmm Donald's family? Mm hmm Well, Donald, I mean. Well, his family, too. They asked me if I wanted to have Thanksgiving at their house. Oh, well, couldn't you have it here and then go over there in the evening? Well, see, they're leaving in the afternoon on Thanksgiving Day for Waxahachie. Morning, sweetie. Hi, Mom. They have a lake house. Ooh, a lake house, huh? And they asked me. And, um, I thought you might ask Mom about it. Why don't you ask her yourself? I thought you might do it for me. I'm not gonna ask her. Oh, Daddy. Please, no, please, no, please, no, no, no. Please? Why not just buy a gun and shoot myself in the head? All right, I won't go. All right, fine. Oh, Daddy, please, please, please. I said I am not going to ask her. <sighs> Who 
Your boyfriend's here to take you to school. Better hurry. I'm not funny. Oh, I know. Karen's a college student. She's too mature to laugh at anything her daddy says. Shut up. I hate you. Oh, what a thing to say. I do. My mother. What was that all about? Nothing. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. You know, my offer still holds. What offer is that? Get yourself cleaned up, get a job. I mean, even a part-time job. I'll get you a used car off the lot. Dad, I'm going to school. Two days a week you go to school. And you're only taking two classes. Oh, my, my. Look at that. Could you give me that cloth from the glove compartment, please? You know, you could even do volunteer work or something. Anything that'll get you out and moving around. I don't want to get into this right now, okay? Okay, okay. I'm not, not getting into this. I'm not meaning to get into things. Look, it's uh, not that I want the car. I'm not asking you for the car. I understand. But you know, Jesus didn't have a job. That's right. He didn't have a car either, and he walked everywhere. she gets to the end. Jeremy, is uh, this class a requirement in your major? I don't have a major. Because I have to play it. It's part of my performance evaluation. You know how important that is. I have to practice the program that she wants, and it's not easy. I'm graded on how I perform in there. Well, what do you want me to do? Just drop the class. I mean, you could place that music appreciation in your sleep, you know? It's just stupid you being there. What am I doing? Except sitting there. What am I doing? You're taking this class to punish me. I am not. I did not know you were in that class when oh, I signed up. That's a lie. That is not You're a lie. You're lying. I'm not lying. Now, look. I'm so sorry for how things happened. But I told you that I I cannot do this anymore. And uh, I didn't know how to write what was happening, so. Why are you doing this to me? What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't follow you around. I haven't spoken to you. Listen, I'm just, please, I'm just here, I'm just here, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here.
So where's Karen? On a date. Jeremy, did you see if there was anything on TV tonight? No. Bob, what's on TV? Maybe we'll all watch TV together. There's that movie with Goldie Hawn and Walter Matthau. Oh, that one where he's a dentist. Yeah. Well, Ingrid Bergman, I don't mm -hmm. want to see that. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't like that Ingrid Bergman. Why? You know why. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to know why you don't like Ingrid Bergman? I just don't like the way she lives. What do you know about the way she lives? Bob, the entire world knows how she lives. She, she started a trend is what she did and I don't approve of her and I'm not gonna watch her on television. Yeah, well, I'm sure she could give a big you know what whether or not you watch her on television. Well, you don't need to be watching television anyway. You need to be getting those pictures together for Marjorie. Excuse me. What? Just want to know where you were. Out in the backyard. Won't you let me fix you a Coca Cola? <gasps> Won't you come on in and watch television for a while? No, thanks. Jeremy, why don't you. Maureen. Either go out there and talk to him or leave him alone. Wait a minute. Jeremy? Why don't you come in here and play the piano for a while? Maureen. Wait a minute. Huh? Uh, um. I don't, I don't feel like it right now, okay? No, that's enough. I didn't do anything. Just screaming in my ears all. I wasn't screaming. I was using my loud voice. Well, whatever voice it was, just stop it. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna sell that old piano. Why? Looking at it makes me just mad enough to spit. Karen never plays it anymore. Jeremy never plays it anymore. It just sits there. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it and buy me a fur coat. You'd have to sell more than that old piano. You'd have to sell everything on that side of the house. I think of all the money we spent on piano lessons. Maureen. What? You stepped on one of your pilgrims. Oh. Tore his little head off. Something happening here but What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down being drawn nobody's right if everybody's wrong young people speak in their minds are getting so much resistance from behind the time we stop hey what's that sound everybody look what is it going down. you know how in horror movies when doors swinging back and forth on one hinge in front of a dark room and some stupid moron is walking up to it just gonna go in and you think to yourself why is she doing that why is she going in there what could possibly make her go into that room doesn't she know better yeah don't let me go in there please okay. Well, look who's here. What you doing? I'm going through. Your Aunt Marjorie asked me to get some pictures of your grandmother together for a what, honey? She's doing a collage kind of thing. What for? Some art class she's taking. What smells so good? I made peanut brittle. Mm, where is it? It's all put away till Thanksgiving. Can I just have one piece? It's all put away now. Leave it alone. All right, all right. How was the movie? We didn't go. There was a line and Donald hates lines. Sir, you just went smooching instead. You are so disgusting. What did you do? We went to Donald's father's country club and played electric darts for an hour. Now, isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. How much of that grass did you smoke? What is the matter with you? I'm just kidding is all. I swear, if you say or do anything like that when Donald comes over here next week, I'm never going to speak to you again. I wouldn't dream of it. I'll just wear my Howdy Doody outfit. I bet he'd be really impressed with that. I won't just tell him not to come. Do you think you were dressed well enough for the country club? See? This is the whole reason why I hate talking about what I do. I don't get mad. I've just never been inside the country club. I have no idea what they wear. Mother, the entire civilized world wears jeans now. Oh, honey, look at this. Honey, I haven't seen this one in years. I forgot all about it. It's one of Jeremy in his little paladin outfit. Oh, paladin? Yeah, it's a cowboy suit. It's just like that one that guy wore in the TV series. What was the name of that show? Have gun, we'll travel. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, here's another one. Oh, my, I wonder how many there are in here. You ordered 40 copies of that picture, Bobo. What? I didn't order 40 copies. You did too, and you'd take them all down to work and hand them out to the salesman. I don't say, remember any of this. Wait a minute, you'd say, Darver tell you I was friends with a famous cowboy I and then hand him not, this picture. I did not. <laughs> See? You're laughing. You know you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sure is a cute picture. You see what happens to kids when they grow up? They start out so cute. And end up like you. Oh, honey, did you hear? 
I've been wounded by my ungrateful daughter's tongue. Where's Jeremy? Out on the patio, I think. Why don't you go sit with him a minute? I have some reading to do. Won't kill you to spend a minute with your brother. Why don't we all just leave Jeremy alone? Yeah, there is a whole mess of those pictures in here. You're supposed to be looking for those pictures of your mother. I know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Who's this? Let me see. Well, who do you well, think it is? I don't know, Uncle Hal. I guess I'll go on to bed. No, silly, that's me on my senior class picnic. <laughs> well, this one's definitely not you. <laughs> <laughs> don't mess with that now. I don't have any coffee to read. Good night. Night. Well, maybe I did order for you. Man. There's something wrong with her, Daddy. Ah, uh, she's just nervous. About what? I having all those people over. All those people? It's just Uncle Hal's family? Yeah, well. So that's four people. And that's four people we have over all the time. You know, Jeremy was screaming in his sleep again last night. Daddy. Yeah, I did. Did Mom? I don't know. She didn't mention it. I didn't ask her about it. She probably did. That's probably what's making her sleep. Oh, crap, boy. Daddy. What? Did you see where Mother put the peanut butter? Just leave it alone. She's going to bed. She'll hear you eating it. You know, I was talking to Donald. We went to that symposium on authority, and one of the speakers was a Green Beret vet. And he was talking about all the problems of coming back home. And anyway, the upshot of it all is that Donald and I talked about Jeremy. And he knows he had some friends who are over there, and they are having some serious adjustment problems, too. What? The best thing in the world we need is for you to go around telling your friends about this family's personal problems. <sighs> Daddy, all I said was... I don't give a damn what all you said was. I don't want you saying anything to anybody. God. Serious adjustment problems. What's that supposed to be, some psychological crap from school? Maybe I'll just go out and talk to Jeremy for a moment. I think that's a wonderful idea. Why don't you just go out there and analyze him or whatever it is you do. That should settle things down around here real good. Are you mad at me for some reason? You know, it might be he's just waiting out there for someone to talk to him. Maybe. That's not one of us. What? Let's talk about something. You know, Karen, I... Uh, I don't... like that kind of conversation. I don't like it. What kind of conversation? Forced. Okay. Then let's have the kind of conversation you do have. I like talking to myself. I 
privacy. So in other words, you would rather talk to yourself than talk to me. No, no, I, I didn't say that. No, that's all right. I'll leave you alone then. Excuse me for Karen. Okay. Thanks for being so nice about it. No problem. gonna be mad at you because I know you have personal problems. What are they? What are these personal problems that I have? Well, I don't know the medical term. But I suppose you could describe it as being a terminal jerk. the hell out of me. Sorry, I was trying to be quiet. Mom? What, honey? What are you doing? Nothing, sweetheart. Go back to sleep. Boy, I tell you, I can't win for losing. What? I was trying to sneak some of this peanut brittle your mother made here. Oh, Mom made peanut brittle? Yeah, but she didn't want anyone messing with it. Why? I supposed to be for Thanksgiving. Anyway, I thought I'd be clever and sneak a piece from here you catch me. Well, if it makes you feel any better, she probably counted all the pieces before she put it in the can. She'll get up tomorrow morning and check it. Thank you. Probably. Nine. Right. you know that I dropped the class. Thank you, I appreciate it. Listen, not as a date or anything, but I was thinking maybe you and I could get a you know coffee or something. You know what? I don't think it's a good idea. Just to talk, not as a date. No, I know what you're saying, and I don't think it's a good idea, okay? Okay. You dropped the class. Really? Yeah. This coffee thing, would it be now? Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not answering that. Come on. <sighs> I've spent so long trying not to look directly at you. It's not that hard now, is it? <laughs> you won a medal. I saw you in the paper. You killed a sniper. Yeah. You see, I just can't imagine you doing that. Don't then. It's scary. Don't think about it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> so? You're starting up your music again? I don't think so. I'm, I don't know. I have all this technique, but uh, I was pretty sure I'd never make a living playing Bach. Maybe do keyboards in a band or something. I don't know. <laughs> you? <laughs> you never said anything about playing keyboards in a band. Well, there's a lot about me that you don't know. <laughs> I should show you your letters. I have them all. They, uh... They were written by somebody that, uh, I don't know. They were scary. Your letters. They were scary because I was scared. But I, 
I, I literally didn't know how to respond. I, uh, I still don't. You know, um, I haven't been much of a movie guy lately. Uh, when I was thinking, you know, maybe we go catch a show or something, you know, or, or maybe a concert, you know, if, if you like it. I, I mean, I'd, I'd, li I'd like to, you know. I'm, uh, I'm uncomfortable. I'm, uh, living with someone. Yeah. Todd Martin. Do you remember Todd? Todd Martin. Todd Martin. Yeah, he, uh, he went to Lamar. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Todd. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, Jerry. So how is Todd? He's fine. He's graduating this year. Wow. Well, congratulations to Todd. Jeremy. It's not that I don't want you to be better. Come on. Come on, to Todd. dinner. Sorry. I should have called. Mother worries, you know. Yeah. Hey. Is that... I ever tell you I was friends with a famous cowboy? Mm -hmm. Have gun, will travel, reach the card of a man. A night without armor in a savage land. Remember that? No, no, you can keep it. I think I got another one around someplace. All right. Wait a second, I want to show you something. Well, I was going to get something to eat. Oh, just take a second, just a second. There you go. You're not going to think badly of me when you see this. You're not going to think your old man's a dumbass, are you? No. All right. There you go. Well, there's one bright spot. You made a B in history. That was an F. I changed it to a B when I got it back. Look at the other side. You know, it's anything different about the signatures. Are you saying you forged Mama's signature? No. I'm saying I copied it. Really? What was that then? What's the year on that card? Uh, 1941. Yeah. At any rate, I got the card back, and I must have spent three days practicing your grandmother's signature before I did it. I think I did a pretty good job overall, don't you think? I mean, considering I'd never done anything like that before. Boy, I tell you, I spent that whole summer just cringing every time she got mad, thinking she'd found out about it or was going to call up the school or something, but she never did. A long time ago, I think you were in, still in elementary school, yeah, and uh, we were going over there for your sister's birthday, and I'd been looking in that other box for something, and I came across this card, and I thought, well, I'll just take it along with me, and I'll show it to her, and we'll all have a little laugh about it. And so after supper, we were sitting in her den watching something on that old Magna box she had, remember? And, I started to pull the card out of my pocket, and I couldn't do it. And every time we went back after that, I, mean, I, never, I never brought the card again, but every time we went back, I thought about it. Every time I saw your grandmother, I thought about it. I remember even at the funeral service, the whole time, your Aunt Marjorie sat there crying and crying, and 
All I could think of was that I had never shown my mother that card. Huh. Well, just looking at it, I'd say you'd done the right thing. You never did anything like that, did you? No. I was pretty much perfect. No regrets then, huh? It's just a trip. What? Trip. I want to take a trip once, and uh, I didn't. I think we should get into this right now. Uh, we're not going to go into anything here. It's just, I think you know that it's getting to a point with you. And I could be wrong about this. I'm not saying this is the way it is. But from the way I'm seeing things, at least, uh, I think you're starting to feel so sorry for yourself. It's damn near crippled you. OK. And I'll tell you something else. There's worse things that can happen to people than fighting in wars. If you're going to tell me about how many people die in car wrecks each year, you can stop right now. What? What are you talking about car wrecks? You told me once that more people died in car wrecks each year than died in Vietnam. Yeah, well, I may have said that. Not may have, did. civil here. At least you can be as civil. Oh, I am being civil. Look, son, what I'm trying to say is all of that Vietnam is finished now. For all intents and purposes, it's done with. Can't you just forget about it and go on with your life? Forget about it? Jeremy? Listen, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I didn't mean to criticize you. That certainly wasn't my intention. I just wanted to, uh, you know, it's hard on me. Uh, I guess it's hard on all of us, you know. through an awful lot, and um, maybe what I said sounded like I, I don't know, maybe it sounded like I was criticizing you, maybe it was criticism, but it was just talk, really. I just miss you, that's all. miss talking to you. Good night. Good
Foxtrot! We are under heavy rocket attack! Request air strike! Okay, okay, okay. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross, rugged cross. Jeremy, Karen, y'all come on to breakfast. And exchange it someday for a crown. Jeremy? What is it? Breakfast time. Wakey uppy, wakey uppy. I'm awake, okay? Well, get on down here. I'm putting breakfast on the table. Bob? Karen? Hurry, hurry, hurry. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder. Jeremy, are you coming or what? When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Here I am here. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good We're morning. all in Good morning. Our sure aren't very cheerful. What do you want? I just got up. I don't cheer when I just got up. What time is it anyway? I don't know, 8.30, I guess. It's 8.15. Oh, did you sleep well? Fine. What time did you go to bed? I don't know, 10.30. Well, that's almost 10 hours then. You don't need more than 10 hours of sleep. It's unhealthy. What time did you nod out? I don't know. Look, how about the next time I feel myself nodding out, I get up out of bed and check the clock for you. I'm gonna stop talking to people in the morning. Karen? You know, I wish I could remember the name of that Thanksgiving hymn. <sighs> what Thanksgiving hymn? Oh, you know what it is. The Thanksgiving hymn. You and Melissa sang it one Sunday. Oh, oh, um... We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. That's it. That's the very one I was thinking of. How's the rest of it go? I don't remember. Well, you just sang some of it. That's all I remember. There's a hymnal right over there on the piano. Why don't you look it up and play it for me? Hey, Mom. A little while, maybe. Karen! All right, all right! Well, would you look at that. What? After I went and told everyone not to, someone went and got into the peanut brittle. How can you tell? I mean, did you... Count all the pieces or what? No, I do not count the pieces, Mr. Smartmouth. The can was in a different place. Oh. Did you like it? I didn't touch it. Well, why did you ask me if I counted all the pieces then? I just wanted to know how you were so certain someone got into the peanut brittle is all. Oh, now, Jeremy, don't you know I don't care about it that much? Really wouldn't matter to me if you came down here and ate all. It'd probably make you a little sick. I'm just worried it wouldn't be enough for this afternoon. Certainly anything to lie about. I'm not lying about it. Why would I lie about it? Someone ate some. I'm not saying they didn't. Well, I'd like to know who it was if it wasn't you. Ask them. All right, I will. Good.
Are you sure you didn't eat some and just forget about it? What is the matter with you? Are you deaf? Jeremy, don't talk to me that way. What do you expect when you accuse someone of lying over and over? I did not accuse you of lying. Yes, you did. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's a holiday. When's the last time I water that plant? Bob? Karen? Do you want a grapefruit or orange juice? Orange juice. Why don't you go ask your sister if she wants a grapefruit or orange juice? Orange juice. Orange juice. Everyone is sure in a bad mood. What is it you want this early? This isn't early. I used to get up every morning at 5 o'clock and work three hours before I left for school. Well... Buy us some cows and I'll get up early and milk them. I don't mind getting up early if it's for a reason. Maybe then I'll just do that. It's a good idea. Teach you some responsibility. <laughs> I'm so irresponsible. Might be good for you. Jeremy, go see what's taking your father so long. Karen, do you know the name of that Thanksgiving hymn? Thanksgiving him. I don't even know the word. Yeah, Jeremy sang a little bit of it earlier. Um, we gather together to ask the oh, Lord's yeah. blessing. I know it. Well, I mean I, don't, I mean, I don't know all of it, though. Well, there's a handle right there. Why don't you look it up? right now? Sorry, Mother wanted to hear it. Well, play it later, after breakfast. There you go. Thanks. What's the matter with you? You never change. Did you know that? As long as I have known you, you have never changed. You never think about anyone but yourself, do you? Oh, well. Karen, would you play the rest of that tune for your mother? Forget it, Bob. Just forget it. It absolutely defies description. There are no words in the English language for it. I'm gonna stop trying. That's all. I give up. I'm sorry, honey, I wasn't thinking. You never think unless it's about yourself. I said I'm sorry. Just drop it. Would you like a grapefruit or orange juice? Uh, grapefruit, I guess. I think after 27 years I learn is all. You've always been this way. You always will be this way. I don't know why I even bother to do anything at all. So just drop it. Thank you. I'm never going to ask another living soul to play that piano again. You all have to argue at the table. I'm not arguing. I'm just thinking out loud is all. He doesn't have to say he's sorry at all as far as I'm concerned. You shouldn't have to go around apologizing your whole life for things you can't do anything about. Lepers don't apologize for being lepers. Well, the breakfast is now absolutely stone cold. Where's Jeremy? How come I can't get everyone to the table at the same time? He's in the bathroom. Jeremy, would you come on now so we can say the blessing? I'll say the blessing now. I want Jeremy to say it. What difference does it make who says it? We will wait. waiting for you to say the blessing. Why me? It's your turn. We're taking turns now? Just say the blessing. I don't want to say the blessing. All right, fine. We'll all just wait until you do. Let me say it. I want to say it. Either Jeremy says the blessing, or we'll all just sit around the table and stare at each other till Christmas. I will say the blessing. Thank God. Amen.
Amen. What was that? I said the blessing. I didn't hear anything. I wasn't talking to you. That wasn't a blessing. I didn't say it out loud is all. I said it directly to God. Why isn't that a blessing? That is no way to give a grace. I cannot believe this. I'm going to have to get a chisel to eat my biscuit. I will say the blessing. Dear Lord, we do thank you. We praise you. We ask your blessing on this food for the nourishment of our bodies through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm really getting tired of your attitude. I didn't do anything wrong. Did you hear me? I heard you. I think everybody needs a little coffee. I'm not just whistling Dixie. I didn't say you were. Let's all be happy. It's Thanksgiving. <clears throat> By the way, Mother, did you ask around? Ask around? What it was you were going to ask everybody. Ask everybody what? Are you kidding me? Well, I'm obviously just the dumbest person on earth, so why don't you just tell me what I'm supposed to ask? <laughs> What is it now? Wait a minute. Ask him what? Tell me what it is I'm supposed to ask, and I'll ask him. You know damn good and well what it is I'm talking about. I have got to get my own apartment. What the hell was that all about? I don't know. I haven't the faintest idea. Not even the faintest idea. Whatever it is, though, you can bet it's my fault. That's how it always happens around here. No matter what happens, it's always Mother's fault. It is not. Yes, it is. No matter what I do, it's always the wrong thing. I couldn't even do the right thing by accident. Yes, you could. What is going on? Nothing is going on. You should have hired a cook and a maid about 10 years ago and gotten rid of me. And everybody would be about a thousand times happier. Do you mean to tell me you have no idea what is going on here? Don't talk to me about it. I just work here. I wasn't so stupid, I'd pack my things and leave. I'm sick. I'm sick, 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 sick. I'm sick of being treated like dirt by my own children. Where do you think you're going? I thought I'd finish your You just sit right back down. Why are you taking sit it down? Sit down, I said. I'll be right back. Mother, I wish you wouldn't do this. I can't. I just, I can't help it. I was taught to honor your father and mother. That's what I've tried to teach. I guess I'm just not good enough to deserve that kind of respect. Of course you are. I have to preheat the oven. I'll do it. What do you want it set on? 450. don't understand what went wrong. His whole life, he was always so grown up. So polite. War changes people. War doesn't make you rude to your parents. Answer that. Tell whoever it is I died. Hello, call your residence. Karen speaking. Oh, hi, new miss. Happy Thanksgiving to <sighs> you, too. It's your mother. Gentlemen. What? It's grandma time. No, I've just got to get the turkey in the oven and finish making the dressing and I'm done. Go pick up the extension. Oh, I don't have that much to do. Oh, no, no, no. We were all just sitting around enjoying ourselves after breakfast. Hello, Norma. Oh, there he is. Bob, honey, tell Mama when we can come see her. She wants to know. I don't know. Easter, I guess. No, Bob, not Easter. I told you already. Karen and I are going to Lake Texoma to visit Myrtle and her kids. You never told me that. I did, too. I'm glad you called, Mama. He would have woke up in the middle of spring break and had the FBI out looking for us. <laughs> now I have a witness, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Tell Mother what the guide said about those baby sharks at Marine Land. Mama, listen to Bob. He tells it so well. <laughs> Get over here this instant and talk to your grandmother. Why? Because she loves you, that's why. And when she calls, she expects you to talk to her. And I expect you to talk to her. Why? All the things that ask. 
Isn't that just the cutest story you ever heard? Uh huh. <laughs> yes, he's right here about to jerk the phone out of my hand. You want me to put him on? Here he is. Hi, Nuna. How goes everything? How goes everything? Yeah, I know it has. Well, I'll probably come out on my own before they do. Well, not that soon. I'm a little low on funds right now. Don't tell her that. Why are you telling her that? No, no, you don't gotta send me anything. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm probably gonna get some kind of part-time job during Christmas. She's not gonna sleep all week thinking of that. No, Nan, I promise I will come and visit you before I move to California. What? What did you just say? Um, sometime after Christmas. What do you, give me that phone. Uh, I don't know. Maybe dog grooming. I got this buddy of mine who lives in Los Angeles who grooms dogs for a living, and he loves it. Give me, give me that, give uh -huh. me that phone. Uh huh. Oh, well, well, Mama wants to talk to you again. Okay, I, I miss you too. Bye bye. You, Mama. Oh, he's just teasing you, is all. I don't know what he's talking about. California hasn't even been mentioned in this house. <laughs> of course he is. Well, actually, we were talking about him going back to his music early this morning. <laughs> well, you know how people get depressed sometimes. It's a phase we all go through. You are incredible. You hush up, you vagrant. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, Mom, I missed that. Oh, no, Mama, don't you worry about that at all. Yes, now you tell everybody happy Thanksgiving there for us. Yeah, you take care of yourself, too. I'm going to let Bob say bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. What in the hell are you trying to do? Nothing. Not doing anything. What is the matter with you? You are what is the matter with me. I'm not going to take that smartness. Are you listening to me? I did not break my back raising you and give you clothes and piano lessons and tennis rackets. I did not spend the two years you were away being afraid of the postman to have you come home and treat me like this. I am not treating you anyway. Oh, that ma that's just... Oh, do you know what I wish I had? What? Do you? What? I wish I had a tape recorder so I could tape record your voice when you talk to me. So I could play it back for you and let you hear the spite in it. Well, get one then. I will. And use it. And maybe you'll be able to remember what it is, some of the things you've said. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I'm saying you have an awfully convenient memory. Smarted off to Stop I'm it! I'm not gonna have you hanging around here treating me like I was some kind of a subhuman being. All right, now look, I've had enough of this crap. I don't want to hear any more either. And as far as all that other garbage is concerned, I'm the one that ate the peanut brittle the other night, and I hope that clears everything up. Well, what does that have to do with anything? You are a piece of work! You'd better shut up! Wait a minute. You asked Jeremy if he ate the peanut brittle, and when he said no, you acted like you didn't believe him. I did not! Yes, you did. Will both of you just stop it? Honest to God, I couldn't think of a dumber thing to argue about if I sat down here and tried. I didn't argue about it. I told him I didn't care. Oh, God. Don't you say, oh, God, in front of me. All right. I want you to listen to this. All right? Here it is. Shut up. Both of you, just shut up. I can't believe you're taking his side. I'm not taking anyone's side. I got better things to do with my time than to spend it worrying about who hurt whose feelings or who mouthed off to who about some damn piece of peanut brittle. I haven't been fighting or arguing with anyone, and I just want to be left alone. <sighs> Look, Jeremy, for me, just for today, I want you to go alone. I just want you to know that I do not want to hear one more cross word spoken in this house. Fine. What are you telling me for? Because I want everyone to be duly warned. I stand warned. Can I finish doing my hair? I don't care what you do. May I say something now? I'm sure you can. I did not make that big a deal out of the peanut brittle. All right. I just wanted you to know. Fine. And I just want you to know that I am sick and tired of all this bickering. And I don't know what, but something's going to have to give, and give pretty damn quick, because I'm not putting up with it anymore. Don't you think you're just in a bad mood? No. 
And another thing, my sister and her family are gonna be here in a little while. I know. Don't interrupt. I'm not. Don't interrupt, I said. They're coming over here and they're expecting to have a good time. And I'm expecting to have a good time. And I don't care if everyone else is miserable. By the time Marjorie walks through that door downstairs, I want everyone in this house smiling and grinning like possums eating dirt out of a hair oil bottle. Seen a lot of those today. Have you shipped a gnome? No. Alaska. Gnome Alaska. Well, sure. Okay. If I had ever been in before, I would probably know just what to do. Don't you? If I had ever been in before on another time around the wheel, I would probably know just how to deal. Jeremy, honey, I'm not being cross, but don't you think you should be getting ready? I am ready. That's what you intend to wear for dinner? Yes, ma'am. want to hear this right now and I know you think I'm a complete idiot and I know the last thing you want to do right now is have a conversation with me knowledge is power but I feel obligated to tell you obligated to whom obligated to myself oh I feel obligated to tell you that I do not like living here any more than you do but while I am here I'm doing the best I can to get along with everybody that's very nice of you. Thank you. And insofar as possible, the next time you decide to pull a stunt, like the one you're currently pulling, I would appreciate it if you could please give me some sort of advance notice so that I could either be mentally prepared or physically absent. What are you talking about? Your clothes. What you've decided to wear to dinner. There is nothing wrong with what I have on. This is what I wore last Thanksgiving. Did I say there was anything wrong with what you had on? No, I didn't say that at all. But you know it is the custom of this house that we dress for Thanksgiving. I don't know if that's what other people do, but that's what we do here. So it's expected. It's called social responsibility. It's called social responsibility. Yes, that's right. That's what it's called. 
Are you, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I know you're studying psychology and you're more up on this stuff than I am, but are you equating social responsibility with double-knit clothing? You hate me, don't you? Jeremy? Yes, ma'am? Um, did you ever go pick up those gray wool slacks of yours from the cleaners? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because, um, you know they go so well with that shirt your Aunt Marjorie sent you? You know the one I'm talking about? The blue, the blue one, one with, with the, the long, long sleeves? sleeves. Mm-hmm. Well, you look so good in them is all. <laughs> Nervous breakdown, you know that, don't you? I know she wants one. That is not funny. <laughs> no, she's not gonna be happy till she has it. <laughs> God, I just cannot understand what's happened to you. I mean, what has happened to you? What's happened to me? You know what's happened to me. You and everybody else. I don't care about anybody else, do you? Not me, not mother, not daddy. You really don't give a damn about anybody's feelings but your own. That's right. I don't give a damn. I don't give a shit. I can't talk to you. Hey. Hey! You know what? What? Huh? You know what? I'm sorry I prayed for you. I am. I never thought it would be possible to be sorry about a thing like that. But I apologize to myself for all those times I got down on my knees and begged to God to bring you home safe. You're such a self-righteous little bitch. I am not going to take this from you, because you are disgusting. And everybody knows it. You hear what I'm saying? You are a weirdo. Friends come up to me at school and ask me about my crazy brother, the weirdo. You make me ashamed. And you make everybody in this family ashamed. I hate you. I don't ever want to be connected with you in any way because you are nothing. You hear what I'm saying? You are an absolute zero human being. You're a weak, ungrateful bastard and you're not my brother anymore. What did I say to you this morning? I'm sorry. Did I ask if you were sorry? No, sir. What I asked was for you to tell me what I said to you upstairs this morning. You said you didn't want to hear any more arguments. And so what did I walk out here and find? What did I hear when I walked out here just now? I'm sorry. I'm not interested in sorry. I am interested in having done what all I said I wanted done. I'm serious about this. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Jeremy, go upstairs and change for dinner. This is what I am wearing. Oh, no, it's not. I'm not gonna have it, son. This is my house, and you're gonna be sitting at my table. And I will not have you sitting at it dressed like that. So go upstairs and change your clothes now. What brought this up? I just, you know, mentioned that what he had on was not appropriate for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, first off, whatever he wears is none of your damn business. Second off, he hasn't started the conversation with anyone in this house in months. So if you're going around trying to mind other people's business, this is what you can expect. I told you this morning about this, didn't I? This morning I said it. What'd I say? All I was trying to do was help. Your help is not needed. From now on, just mind your own damn business and leave the running of this family to your mother and me. We've been doing it for 26 years without your help, and I don't see as how we need it now, all right? want something? I just want to tell you I'm not going to be having dinner with you today. What is that supposed to mean? Just that. Since you'd wish I'd never come home, and since I'm such a weirdo, and since Thanksgiving is such a family event, and I'm not your brother anymore, I won't embarrass you by having dinner at your expense. Have a wonderful time. 
Jeremy? Jeremy, you're trying to get me in trouble, and I'm not gonna have it. If you don't want to have dinner, blame it on Daddy, not on me. Get away from my door. It is only your door on the inside. It's anyone's door out here, and I'll stand by it as long as I want to, and you just try and stop me. Jeremy, you better open this door, or I'll knock it down. I swear I will, and I hope it bashes your ugly head in! Open up! Open up! What the hell are you doing now? It's all my fault. I did it. I'm responsible. What are you talking about? What'd you do? Jeremy has just locked himself in his room after informing me that he will not be having Thanksgiving dinner. And you did absolutely nothing to provoke him? I did absolutely, positively nothing to provoke, anger, or antagonize him. Now, I know that doesn't make a bit of difference. I know that it's still all my fault, but he's the one who did everything. All right, listen. There is one thing I do not need around here right now, and that's another Joan of Arc. Get away from there. Jeremy, are you changing your clothes? You mean those clothes Mother told you to have me change? Just answer the question. No. And why not? I'm not having dinner. And why not? I had a big breakfast. All right, look, Jeremy, I'm not joking around out here. I'm not laughing around in here. He's only doing this to make me look bad. Jeremy, I'm not asking you anymore. I am telling you. You ought to change your clothes and get your butt out of here pronto. Fuck off. What did you say? I said, fuck off. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. Fine. Everything is fine, honey. I wonder how late they're going to be. Well, the dinner's almost ready. I guess I planned it all wrong. Jeremy? Maureen? Wait a minute. What are you wearing? The same thing I was wearing. I thought you told him to change clothes. I did. Now, Jeremy, your father told you to change clothes for dinner. I'm not having dinner. Did he say he's not having dinner? Now, why would he say he wasn't having dinner? He's not sick, is he? Is he sick? No. Jeremy, are you sick? Do you not feel well? His door is locked. Jeremy, what do you mean you're not having dinner? Explain that. Ask Karen. I'm asking you, why can't you tell me? What does he mean, ask Karen? They had an argument. Did they have an argument? That's what I just said, are you deaf? Would you stop that? This is a crisis. I don't need rudeness in a crisis. Karen, would you come out here, please? Jeremy, you come out of your room this instant. Karen, what did you say to your brother? They were having an argument about his clothes and things got out of hand. It just all got twisted around somehow. Do you think you should apologize to him? For what? There's no need for her to apologize. Did you hear the argument? No. Well, then why don't you let her decide what she needs to do? How about that? Fine, I'll apologize. You will not. There will be no apologizing. Bob, you let her apologize. She is not she going to apologize. To. I'm not going to apologize. You're not going to apologize. Nobody is going to apologize. I'll apologize if I want you to. You will not. Jeremy, Karen says she's sorry. She didn't mean any of the things she said to you. And she wants you to come out and have dinner with her. All right, that's enough. I've had enough. Get out of the way. I'm not having anyone living under my roof behaving like this. Jeremy, you can either change your clothes pronto, then get your ass out here and apologize to your mother and me, or you can pack your bags and get out. Bob, you can't do this now. This is when he needs us the most. What he needs the most is to grow up. I know that. We have to help him grow up. Jeremy, no one's mad at you. I'm sorry I was rude to you earlier. Now... We're all gonna have a, a, a wonderful dinner, and your Aunt Marjorie and your Uncle Hal and David and his wife are all looking forward to seeing you. You don't want me to tell him you're locked in your room like a 10-year-old, do you? Stop talking to him like he's a 10-year-old. You shut up. I've heard how you solve problems. Jeremy, please come out. Jeremy, you answer me when I talk to you. Now you come out here this minute. This is not the way a veteran of the armed forces is supposed to behave. <gasps> it's the doorbell. It's the doorbell. All right, calm down. Oh, they're here. Oh, Jeremy, they're here. What are we going to do now? We're going to open the door and let them in. Bob, wait. Get a hold of yourself, Donna. We'll tell him he's sick. All right. Wait. I'll tell him. All right. We're going to open the door now. 20 years, 20 years, and this is the one they picked to be on time. 
Hi, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Jeremy's sick. I always say, you give me 45 minutes in a Bible, and I can prove conclusively that Noah's Ark could not have been in Turkey. Oh, he can. I should study my Bible more. Well, it had to be somewhere. Now, I don't know where exactly. Well, I'm not up on it like I should be. But somewhere in the Alps. Ta-da. Oh, what a beautiful bird. <laughs> what a wonderful bird. I can't find the peanut brittle. I cannot just find it. He'll be all right. I feel like letting my freak flag fly. Dear Lord, we're grateful for so many things this holiday season, not the least of which is our ability to share with others the abundance of blessings with which you have showered us. We ask also that you bless the Dallas Cowboys today, help them be strong, play well and to do their very best. Lord, we also ask that you help us remember what the holiday season is all about and help us to try and not to take each other for granted, but to try to do thy will always. Bless this food to our use, us to thy service, Make us ever mindful of the needs of others at a time when so many are without. These things we ask in the precious name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We should go ahead and carve the turkey. Hey, uh, Uncle Bob. Uh, Bob? Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Marjorie, you want white meat or dark meat? Oh, what if you're closest to that? Give us your plate. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you ought to tilt that knife a little bit there, Bobby. Those peas are cooked in a recipe I got from your mother, Marjorie. Oh, Mama's peas. <gasps> White meat, Daddy, please. Mm -hmm. All right. Honey. You know, Bob, if uh, I were you, I'd get a little better of an angle on that bird. I got a good idea. Uh, let me show you something. Uh, Show me anything I got. Well, uh, you want a little deeper angle. No, get you away just twist me. that sideways. Oh, oh, oh. Shit! Bob! Oh, Bobby, I'm a. Uh, 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 are you all right? Why don't you carve the goddamn turkey yourself, you old fart? Christ. W 
What'd you say? I said, why don't you carve the goddamn turkey yourself, you old fart? Hey, you cannot speak to my father like that. 299. What? 299, I said. Don't tell me you don't know what that means, David. I think your old man knows what it means, don't you, Hal? That's your goddamn birthday, David, from when they pulled the numbers out for the draft card lottery. 299, that's the number that saved your ass from having to go and fight in Vietnam. Would you like to know what Jeremy's number was? It was eight. Eight. Eight! Don't you ever tell me what to say or what I cannot say in my own house or I'll take this goddamn turkey and shove it down your throat. Well, unless we're gonna have a nuclear attack of some kind, it's hard to imagine what else could go wrong. I think we better go. I think we just better have done it. No, I think it is perfectly clear that I am not welcome. David, shut up. It was my fault. Uh, I can be an old fart sometimes. David, please, sit down. Your father's right. I'd like some turkey.
share me. I want you to know before you go, I, I want you to know I said some terrible things to you this afternoon. <laughs> Stupid things. I don't want to hear it. You feel sorry for yourself on your own time. I know... I won't ever be able to understand what happened to you over there. I wasn't there. And I didn't go through it. There's no way for me to understand how terrible it was. Oh, please don't... Don't hold me responsible for that. Don't resent me for that. There's no way for me to know. I could, uh, I could explain it to you. Do you really want to know? Yes. I died. I just want you to know. What? Now, wait a minute. Wait. I just want you to know how much I love you. I know, I know you hate me right now. I know you, you think I've done nothing but ruin your life that I haven't been a good mother. But everything I've done is because I love you. See, I love you so much. I, I do wrong things. Okay. I've never meant to hurt you. I've just done the best I know how. Okay. Okay. Now, now, uh, would you please let me fix you something to eat? No, thank you. Jeremy, you need to eat something. I know you must be hungry. I don't want it. I don't want it. Jeremy, she's only trying to be nice. I don't want nice. Okay, what do you want? I, w I want to be, I, I, I want to I I I be left alone. That's, that's what I want. Okay, we'll leave you alone. <sighs> Come on. When I am out of here, then you will leave me alone. I'll tell you what, I'll put some of the turkey and some of the dressing on the table. I don't want any of your fucking dressing or your fucking turkey or your fucking apologies. I don't want any fucking thing from you at all. Can you hear me? Jeremy, you understand stop what I'm it. saying? Jeremy. I am through with this bullshit. Jeremy, she's just trying Can you to hear me? Nice. You understand it. what I'm saying? Can you get it in your thick fucking skull? You understand you can't me? Speak to me like Can you that. hear me? Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you shut up, old woman! Shut up! You shut up! You shut up! You shut up! You shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! You shut up! Shut up!
have you been? I see everyone left. Yeah, they left right after dinner, which took all of three minutes. Jeremy back? Daddy, listen to me. You can't send him away right now. Where is he? He's upstairs, and he's not. I mean, he's acting very all strange, right, listen Daddy. I thought this out. It's just wrong. No, wait a minute. Honey, he it's was not just our in fault. there. Do you understand that? Who said anything not our about fault? fault? Look, I don't have to justify myself to you, young lady. Yes, sir. See all your stuff downstairs? Yeah. I won't go to the bus station. I want Karen to take me to the bus station. All right, fine. <clears throat> I got uh, $2,100 here for you. It's all the cash I had at the office. I know it's not a fortune, but... Uh, it's enough to take you about anywhere you want to go and help you get started if you're careful with it. And look, um, I don't want you thinking that I'm kicking you out of the house because that's not what I'm doing, see? I think you should leave for your own good. I think it's the right thing to do, and uh, it's my responsibility as a father. And I think... Uh, you know, once you're away from here and have time to think about it, you're gonna agree. When you're on your own again, you know what I mean? I don't want it. Well, I want you to have it. No, you don't. You want me to take it so you won't feel guilty, so you won't feel responsible. so wrong. I honestly thought you'd say thank you. Thank you? That's what you thought I'd say? No. You just want everyone to think you did the right thing. I'm not doing this because of what anyone might think. I'll have Karen drive you wherever you want to go. I hope you'll think better of me someday. where we can get in touch with him. I'll see what I can do. Bob. He'll probably tell Karen. What if we never see him again? Oh, really? So what? He wants you to drive to the bus station. All right. You're making a big mistake.
is this? It's just your old prayer plaque, he's all. I know what it is, what's it doing here? I just thought you might- Don't you people ever stop? What are you trying to do to me? All right, just put it down. No, 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 I, I wanna know what it is you think you're doing here, what it is you think you're doing. Jeremy, it's only- Look, it's been explained. Just put the plaque down, all right? Just put it down. Get out. Go on, get the hell out of here! I can't. What? I can't. You get out of this house oh, now, sir. Let me die! I'll break Daddy, your goddamn oh, head. You hear me? Oh, back up! Oh, back up, mister! You back the fuck up now! Okay. Back up! Dude, just take it easy, son. Just. Take it easy. You thought you were going to get away with it again, didn't you? You thought I was going to walk out of here just like I did the last time. Answer me! I don't know what you're talking about, son. Yes, you do. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I swear I don't. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that! All right, I'm not looking at you. Look down at the floor. What? I said look down at the floor. Why? Do it! Look down at the goddamn floor! Oh. Do it now! Daddy, he's going to kill us. Bob, do what he says. Jeremy, he's doing it. He's doing right, it. I, I, I'm fine. I'm looking at the floor now. You remember last time we had a conversation when I got my draft notice and I asked you, God damn it, I begged you for something. You remember what it was I begged you for? Well, I think. Uh, no, you better know! Yeah, uh, yeah, yes, you asked me for money to go to Canada. That's right. Didn't you say my honor was at stake? That it was my duty to go? What you wanted was against the law. It was illegal, son. Fuck that! Fuck what the law said! It's what you said! You said no! You couldn't give me any money then, but now it's all right. Now you can buy me off. Oh, no, no, that's not why I gave you the money. You were a goddamn liar! Now listen, son. Look, just put the gun down and listen to me for a minute, No, I will already you? listened to you. You know what you did, Dad? You sent me someplace where we didn't fight for anything but to stay alive. So fuck you in that crap about honor, mister. It was your honor, and you know it! Jeremy, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. See? She knows what I want. Don't you, mother? A mother always knows what her son is thinking. Say again. Sarge? What's that? What do you got over there? What is it, son? I know he's around here somewhere. Can you tell us who you who you're talking to, son? <laughs> no, God. Oh, dear me. Please oh, don't. No. Oh, God. Oh, Jeremy. No. Don't do this. Talk to us. Talk to us, son. Just please talk to us. Please don't hurt us. You stay away. You stay right there. Or I will put a hole big enough in your chest for me to crawl through. Jeremy. Jeremy. You don't want to do this. Please don't. You shut up. 
I know how many things I don't want to do. You should shut the fuck up. Where you step. This area is not secure yet. You have no idea what we're looking for, do you? No. Viet Cong, gooks. We naped that whole hill. But they dig, you know. BC got tunnels going all the way to Saigon. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? Got one. One dig. Get him out of there. They started beating him, kicking the shit out of him, screaming at him, beating him. God damn, this dang ain't giving up shit. Do dang! And he ain't afraid to die either. Do bang your hut! You know, don't you? You know what he wants me to do? Something wrong, Collier? He's a prisoner, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. Problem with something, Collier? No, sir. Move out, men. Just looking at me. Gook's looking at me, waiting for me to pull the goddamn trigger. But I can't do it. I'm, I can't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm not doing it. Fuck! And then something strange happened. Something really fucking strange. This Gook. This gook wasn't a gook at all anymore. He wasn't a gook at all. He was you. He was you. He was you. You, with your fucking duty, and your fucking honor. Brands out all over the top of that hill. But it was you. I killed you. I killed you everywhere I could find you. And here I am. I come home and you're still here. You're still here. Dad, I I I, I kill those I kill those people for nothing. For nothing! I killed him for nothing. And the whole time I was doing it, 
was only you I wanted. It was you. Oh. It was you. Get the hell away from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're gonna be sorry, all right. You son of a bitch. God damn you. God damn you. Get out of here with the help of God. I'll get it. No! Get out! Mom! Daddy, stop! Mom, you're hurting me. Mom! Daddy! Look, I swear to God, I'll get it. Come on, get out! Going, uh, going out. You got a bus going to California. Do, do you have one? Yeah. Uh, in about 15 minutes, there's a bus going out. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Don't you want to know where in California you're going? What way, right? I got enough. So I got, I got enough money. Uh, why, why don't you have a seat and uh, I'll bring you. I'll bring your ticket to you. Okay. I can't forget, you know. I can't, I can't forget. You sure you're all right?
You know, I'm, I'm friends. I'm friends with a famous cowboy. What's his name? Jeremy. And he's famous? Yes, he is. But he's just a little boy. Yes, he is. Oh, you, you keep that. You can have that one. Mr. Are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? I will be. On November 13, 1982, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial was dedicated in Washington, D.C. One veteran walked 3,000 miles to be there. Another sold his household appliances for airfare. It was the largest procession the nation's capital had seen since President Kennedy's funeral. Jeremy was there. He wore his uniform.